We've been living in Dubai for the past two years and we recently got our keys to our first property investment in the city. We're super excited about that. We wanted to do a video about all the things that we wish we knew two years ago when we started looking for property in the city. In this video, we're gonna cover what an off-plan property is and what a ready-made property is. If you haven't seen our apartment, check out the previous video and we will guide you through and show the process how it went. An off-plan apartment is an apartment that's not ready yet. So you buy it in an early stage, so normally three, four years before it, it's completed. So you're basically buying into the vision of a property that's supposed to be made in the future. And then a ready-made property? Is, yeah, as you can hear, an apartment is already done, uh, so that you can't move into. It's physically there and it's, it's, the construction is completed. And it could be anything from the first day to being there for 20 years, basically. Exactly. Let's kick off with off plan properties because this is close to our hearts because our apartment that we was bought an <laughs> was an off plan. <laughs> when you arrive to Dubai, the, the first thing that you will see are all the billboards of all these advertising for off plan property. All these developers in other countries, you will arrive and you will see telecom marketing, you see all this, you know, TV shows or whatever. In Dubai, it's real estate, real estate, real estate. It can be very overwhelming to understand this market and all the different developers. Also, when you are in the shopping mall, there is real estate agents everywhere. And you see these 3D buildings everywhere and they try to drag you in, to try to buy an apartment there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just the, the craziness of Dubai, right? They're buying apartments when you're out shopping uh, some clothes or something like that. <laughs> it's pretty mental. There are a couple of advantages with off-plan, obviously. So the first one that you need to consider is the payment plans. For our apartment, when we found our unit, basically what you do is you pay a registration fee to just lock in that unit to make sure it's it's yours. Typically that could be something around 40,000 dirhams, 50,000 dirhams or something like that. And then as soon as that is registered, you pay the first installment and that could be very different. It could be everything from 20 to 30 to 40% firstly. And then what happens with the the payment plan. Then depending on how aggressive the payment plan, if you go with the bigger ones like EMR, the Mac, Meras, they have more aggressive. So normally they have 60, 70, 80% during the construction. So every six months you pay probably 10 or 15%. And then when the handover is ready, you pay the rest of it normally 20, 30%. So this means if it probably got 1 million dirham, you might pay 200,000 uh, firstly upfront when you, you know, the first payment. And then every six months you would pay another 100,000 dirham until completion. And then just before handover, you paid around 700 or 800,000 dirham. And then you pay the rest when you get the key. Why are people buying the off-plan? When you buy an off-plan, you're buying into a vision, right? And buying into a vision is, of course, a bit of a risk. So that means essentially you can buy property. You can speculate on property and that would be cheaper than buying ready-made uh, ready departments. Uh, or houses or whatever it might be. So historically in Dubai, because the market moves so quickly, some of these areas like, take an area like Dubai Hills, for instance, that for five, six years ago, you could buy property there very, very cheap because it was basically just a highway. Yeah. But the people who actually there to invest there and there to- in Could see the vision. Could see the vision that AMR had. These people have become very, very wealthy because of this investment. It's more speculative for sure, but you would also get a higher and often newer quality than ready-made and the payment plans as well. It means that you don't have to front load all that cash if you have a mortgage or if you can finance it in some way. The, the off plan makes you pay off during the construction of the process because you are essentially financing it in a way uh, as an investor. And customize as well. You can decide how you want it to look some option at least. Yeah, we only have marble and, uh, <laughs> and gold, and gold <laughs> in our apartment, but that's what we wanted, so suits us. Yeah. So moving over to the other side of the coin, ready-made property. We ourselves have not had an experience directly in Dubai of buying it ourselves yet, that is to say, but we do have a lot of friends and advisors that have been uh, telling us about the process and what the advantages is with buying ready-made property. So why would anyone invest in ready-made property then? So the reason why people buy that instead of an off plan is that you can actually see the product directly. It's less risk because you don't know what's going to happen in that area that you buy the next coming four years. You can rent it out directly. You might have to do some renovation. In some cases, the, the tenants is already there. 
so you can get money directly. Well, yeah, you can go in and feel it and see it, and there is a history around it. You can calculate your ROI in a different way as well. Also with the area, if it's more established, it's, it's already situated. Yeah, if you choose like Dubai Marina, you know it's a good area, you know you can rent it out for a, for a lot of money because that's where people, the tourists want to be. And you want to think about the tenants though, because if you, you could actually buy a property and there are rules in Dubai protecting tenants, which is fantastic if you're renting. Mm. But as, a, as an investor and owner, you need to think in, about this and consider it because you cannot just kick them out mm. uh, how you want, even if you want to. And also if you plan to increase the rent of the property, there are also Some quite rules. strict laws. Yeah? yeah. So you need to make sure that you know about this information before you buy it. Do your research. <laughs> when you're deciding on your first property in Dubai, there's no real right or wrong, or there's not just a one-way path for everyone if you should buy an off-plan or a ready-made property. The main thing is, of course, to do your due diligence, to fully understand more about the market, the prices, the development as well, understand the developers and the communities that you're considering. Because from our experience at least now, being in, in Dubai for two years, it's more about the actual product that you're buying. It could be an off-plan and it could actually be ready-made to, to see what potential it is. So off-plan, what would be the downsides of the off-plan? Of course, it's a risk. You never know if it's going to be a good area because Dubai is building everywhere and it goes so fast as well. Another downside is delays. Yeah, and that's something we have experienced ourselves yeah. uh, as, as investors. Delays and communication regarding delays it's, it differs very much from other markets in the world. And it could also differ a lot depending on what developer you choose to invest with, obviously. Yeah. But normally what we heard is that at least a year it will be delayed. O on average, and we've heard some horror stories as yeah. well with projects in JLT, for instance, being delayed for multiple years and people can't get out of these uh, commitments and are threatening to sue and whatnot. So make sure you do that due diligence. It's always a risk. It is better now as well because the government has put out so regulations. You actually don't pay to develop itself. You pay to a government own escrow account. escrow account. And then after a while they get some of the money, percent of the money depending how quick they are building. So there are a lot of protections for foreign buyers, especially, which makes it more safe as well. Even though the payment plan is great as well on off plans that you don't have to pay all that cash during the construction. One downside that we have seen and experienced is uh, the mortgage side. Yeah, you can't take a mortgage for off plan. Which means you need that cash during that construction process. But when you get the keys, that's when you can get the mortgage. Exactly. But you need to have the cash, but then you can get the mortgage when it's done. But still, it's a couple of years when you lock in the money. And if you look at ready-made property, on the other hand, even if you're paying it uh, up front, the whole sum, basically, when you're buying the property of someone, that's a lot easier to get the mortgage for, right? Which means that even if you're paying a million dirhams, you can take a mortgage up to 80% or I think even 85% on some occasions for that apartment. And the interest rates in Dubai are, well, everywhere they're pretty high these days, but uh, compared to the rest of the world, they're still fairly decent. Yeah, yeah it was around 5 6%, but it depends on, on the situation, of course. And we're going to talk more about mortgages, insurance, things like this that are quite complicated in our future videos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. When it comes to the ease of buying, it can differ a lot from our experience and what we've heard. Off plan, it's a lot easier because in a way you're dealing with a professional seller, a company that's selling to you. While it's a ready-made property, it could be with a broker, it could be with some random end user somewhere. So it's very difficult to predict. Negotiation wise, which is quite interesting as well. How would that differ? It seems to be easier if you go with a ready-made. Mm. We could negotiate a little bit when we bought our off plan, but otherwise it's quite strict on the prices that you have because it's so popular. Yeah, you can find some of these ready-made properties that might have huge potential in an area, but a lot of buyers will look the other way because of property might need renovations and things like this. So you, if you have an eye for it, you can spot good investments on the ready-made market. And to Molin's point, off plan, it's a bit more strict with the big developers. And uh, yeah, what I read is about well, five to maximum 10%. That's probably what you're gonna get uh, for this discount, but always try yeah. to bargain. That's our advice. But the thing is as well, if you go with the bigger ones like Meras, it's really, really hard to get the off plan as well. 
Yeah, then it's then it's more about knowing the right people. Yeah. But that's another one where we're going to discuss uh, also in another video more on the different developers and how you should be thinking around which one is the right developer for you. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. So we made this video for ourselves two years ago. So hopefully it can fill that purpose for you if you're looking at investing first time in Dubai. This is basically just scratching the surface of everything you need to know about investing in this market. We wanted to share more openly our experience, our feelings about this journey we're on because sometimes it can feel quite lonely. Yeah, so if you have any suggestion or if you want us to discuss anything else, let us know, comment below and